Hey guys, it's Chad from Dirtport TV. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to put Hunter Works white washer into the primary on an XP1000. And I'm also going to remove the square pucks and we're going to install the round rollers from Hunter Works. And let's get this thing started. Hey YouTube. Okay, you're not tightening this down to kill it. All you're doing is relieving the pressure because there is a spring here and when we release these six bolts, it's gonna to wanna to come up. So, takes three eighths socket. Just tap it, don't hammer on it. Take your bolts out. What you are going to want to do is make sure you mark or check where your X's are because these are a balanced clutch. These parts are not interchangeable. You can't even rotate them. It's going to throw everything out of balance. On mine, the X is right here. Don't know if you can see that. And then on the spider, there's going to be an X on the spider. Let's get this puller off, relieve this tension. There's an X right here and a mark right there from the factory. I have the same thing on here. Pull your spring off. Here is what we're replacing. We are taking out the blue washer from the factory. Some come with no washers, some come with one washer, some come with two washers, whatever. What we're doing is we're getting rid of that blue washer. We're going to replace it with Hunter Works white washer. Polaris blue washers out. Hunter Works standard white washer going in. So put that down. Back on with the spring. Line up your X. X here. X on the spider. Bell. Washer. Okay, so what we want to do is get it lined up and then I kind of, once I have this pushed down, as you see, I, I just push this down. Okay, look, I can push it down. I can pull this up, but I only have to go a little bit. So that's all the farther. So if you had someone hold, holding this, you could literally do this, but why? I have the tool, I need the tool. So I'll crank this down a little bit. Line it up. Always start your bolts by hand. Set 
seven to eight foot pounds on these bolts. I will do a crisscross pattern. Don't know if that really matters or not on this. Just take it down a little bit at a time. Okay, here we go. Tighten her down. That's it. Seven to eight foot pounds. Done. Just double check. Okay, so white rock washer is in our primary. Now it's time to get rid of the pucks out of the secondary. Turn it over. Bell washer. Okay, so this what we're wanting to do is same thing. Take the spring pressure off of there because there's a helix in here and it has a spring inside of there. And we just want to keep the pressure off of this. This I don't know if you could hold by hand. Um, you might be able to, but I wouldn't attempt it. So what we do need, oops, wrong size. It's a 25. Five torques. Yep. And what you're going to want to do on this is you're going to want to heat it up because they're in there with Loctite. So how I do this is 10 to 15 seconds. push down on this. Get over the top of it and just tap. One to go. Now, remember, those are hot. I'm brave. Those are out. Now what you want to pay attention to on this, there's X's on this also. There's an X right here on top, and then there's an X right here on this back of this sheave. What I'm going to do with this sheave is I'm going to make a mark. 
just to make sure I know where it goes. Remember this is under pressure, but just release slowly. Boy, this compressor tool is very nice. I recommend it. Here's your helix. We'll blow that out. This is your spider. They call that your spider. Here's your spring. It has a tang on it. It fits down in there, in the tang down there. I guess it would be the tang mark, but it does have some dirty, grimy shit in there. Okay. So, what we're wanting to do is we need to knock out there's a little roll pin here. So get yourself a roll pin punch. What we're going to do is we're going to start from the inside. I use an eighth inch roll pin punch. Start from the inside and we're going to tap that. We're going to tap it to where it doesn't come out. We don't want to go all the way out because this is the pain getting it back in. So let's get this tapped out. Okay, so what I did is I put a pair of vice grips on the back side and I tapped it until that pin was about ready to fall out. I'm going to mark an arrow on the top of this roller which way it goes pointing out. So just wiggle and she's coming out. Out. So what I want to do is I want to take this completely apart because I have some wear in here um, and I want to clean that up before I put the new rollers in. So there is an X on here and there should be an X on the inside but I am going to put an X here. Same thing, you take this apart you do not want to turn it 180 degrees and put it back together. You will have some problems. So I will remove the vice grips on there. That's side A. Same thing, I'm going to make an arrow that points out towards me. Let's tap this other one out with a roll pin punch, eighth inch. Let's get our pliers on it. A little bit more. You can feel it when it doesn't have much resistance. Right there. Pull that roller out. Clean the pin off. There is a way you know which direction this pin goes in. Um, I will show you in just one second. Even though I put the arrows on here, this has a flat spot. Well, if you can see that, there's a flat spot on the edge that faces out. 
So with that being said, my clutch is apart. Right now I'm going to try to clean up a little bit of this inside here. I might use a Dremel, might use sandpa sandpaper, or a little bit of both. Okay guys, I'm lazy. I tried sandpaper, it was taking too long. So, trusty Dremel. All you need to do, since mine is not bad, I can't tell if you can see this, but right here, there's a little bit of wear in this roller right here, which is from the square puck, and that's what we're getting rid of by going to round pucks. So I'm going to knock that down. And you do not have to go crazy with it. So, on low speed. Okay, so now I can take my sandpaper and sand the rest of it. Okay guys, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's reassemble this. I'm going to blow this out with the air chuck. Okay, you remember what we talked about earlier? We talked about the X's. Do not mix them up. So, X, X. Flip them over. We have our new rollers. Make sure you have the flat side pointed out towards you or your arrow pointed out towards you. Position those in there. Okay. Now, how I position it is I'll get them in there. Flat side out, push them down, and then I'll line it up with the punch. There it is. Okay, now that she's lined up, I am going to take a bigger flat punch, and we're going to drive that back in there. Was a good sound. Pop that right out. Done. Take the other one. Get on it with your vice grips. Push it down in there. Line it up. 
with your punch. Should be about right there. It is. Take your punch. It's a good sound when it shoots your eighth inch punch out. You know you're lined up. Driver home. Okay. Remember, the spring has a tang on the bottom. Of it. The tang you put down in here into the groove. Your spider, we're going to give it a quick cleaning. Okay, spider's in there. Always point the spider towards me, towards my X. Right here, spider towards me towards the X. Back on your puller. Now what we can do is we can use our old pucks as spacers. So we don't have to screw that thing all the way down. Even though this is a Speed screw, but look, we're already started. So I just start taking her down slowly, keep her lined up, make sure there's nothing binding. Okay, so when I get her close, I'll hand start these screws. Okay, all those are started. Those two are. Let's put the last two in. Okay, once I have them all started by hand, I can go ahead and rock this thing down. Don't ask me, I have no idea what the torque is on this, but just use a good trigger control. Okay, put some weight on it. Some weight on it.
primary. I would like to thank all of you for watching. Stay in tune if you guys are interested. Excuse me, if you're interested in this kind of material, please hit that like button. Um, don't forget to subscribe to Dirt Poor TV, and we'll catch you on the next one.